Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is Disclosure coming to you from the Martian Artifact Research Society's headquarters on Second Life in Jumioni, called Alien Artifacts. I'm up in my new skybox. Here we have a simple artifact. Uh, this is Spirit Soul 472. This thing is so blatantly obvious, I don't know how anybody can miss it. Uh, it looks relatively like a uh, rectangular object, although there may be a vein that actually sticks out. Some of the photos, it looks like a vein that's sticking out. This object is sitting on a post, which uh, goes through an apparent slot down here, and then we have a square base. The square base would be unusual by itself. And then you have this object sitting up on the post. Is that natural? No. What is it? I've long suspected that this object is there for uh, measuring weather or something like that. Probably rotated at one time. That would be my guess. Alright, there really isn't that much to this one, but I want to take a look at some other stuff that's in the photo. Mainly just this, in this crack, it may be tough to see. There's a pattern of what are essentially plants, if we can get close enough. It seems to be um, a broadleaf, molly lobed plant growing in the cracks there. I would say um, probably just a classic Martian ground cover. It's tough to see in, it's tough to see in the photo, but there's almost like a star-like pattern to it. I have seen plenty of Martian ground covers, so it's nothing really remarkable in it. Rather bored with seeing plants, to be honest. Alright. Now I'm going to show the model. And I should have time after this, so what I'll do is... I'll uh, present a bonus... photo. Here we go. This is the model. I just kind of beveled it towards the bottom. So... The top is uh, wider than the bottom, and try to simulate that a little bit. I didn't go into a lot of detail with the model, so we can all see what that is. And here we have the uh, square base, and I put it on, and I put it on the post there. And that's about it. Simple basic artifact, but very blatantly obvious. Anybody who calls that natural is you know, screw loose, in my opinion. Um, it's just not going to get a natural object out of this. I don't see how. Find something like that in nature, I'd be pretty proud. Alright, uh, let's go take a quick preview of another photo. Spirit Soul 613. <laughs> That I need to go up to the roof of the skybox. I am still studying this. This photo is packed full of anomalies. It's an amazing photo. But here's the biggest one. This large structure up on the hill. And there's others too. I'm still studying this. I don't, uh, I'm not going to release it yet, but this is just a preview. Looking at this photo critically, I'd have to say 
probably looking at some sort of an industrial center. And we have to remember this is past in all likelihood. So it's all, you know, much of it is all broken down. This thing has openings on the left hand side and it has this groove here and possibly an um umbilical attached to it. Very fascinating object. Very fascinating artifact. I'm going to scoot over here. This is a darkened version of the photo. There's a lot of little dome-shaped objects and such right in here. A lot of plant life. I'm not uh, going to release this, like I said, until I've done some pretty serious study on it. Because that just wouldn't be fair, but this is just a preview. And there you have it, folks. We need to get some action. We need to demand the truth. These people have no right not to tell the public that they found an alien civilization on Mars. They have no right not to tell the public that there are plants on that planet. They have no right to withhold this type of information from us. We have to demand the truth right now. Amarfax of Mars, thank you for your kind attention.